Yes, yeah, Shalom. All honor, praise, and glory unto your Awa Basham, your Awa Shai, Basham Raka Kodash. Big up all of the Akiam and the Akwaf, the Virgin and the Sister, them that push the truth throughout the far corner, them. So we see the headline, them. <clears throat> we see how the war ramp up. Right? So we want to um, do some watch and praying, some watchman news reporting. So we have. Upon the war news that GR, the Greek website, because you can't find these type of news upon the American media because there is a famine of hearing the words of God. And Psalms 119 verse 142 tell you that the word is the truth. And John 1 and 1 tell you that the Lord is the word. So there's a famine of hearing the truth. There's a famine of hearing the word of God. These true headlines. Are, when there's a famine, there is still food. But there's a scarcity of it so people do not see these as much as we do because we seek uh, uh, watch and pray and we are not ignorant of anything let's say satan should get an advantage of us and then we say oh it's pre-tribulation rapture oh world war three is not here when rockets are flying people are dying you understand <clears throat> so russian rocket in israel iran equips hezbollah from kimim and bs right so so russia and iran are sharing military bases as I have always told people, no, it's pre prevalent in the headline again that the Russians and the Iranians are sharing the military bases and they are supplying a side upon this war. The new World War I was trench warfare. World War II was planes and tanks. World War III is mercenary uh, 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 and um, what you call when they're pro on proxy. You see me? So then you have, so you have the, the, the Russians with the Persians and the Tunisians are North Africa, Northwest Africa. Well, I um, could translate this. Right, the Tunisians are in the Northwest Africa, which is Libya in the Bible, are our foot. Right, so Tunisia bill criminalizes the, not, the normalization of relations with Israel provides penalties for high treason so so the tunisians the, the libyans are saying it's a crime to do business with these amlekite edomite idumians who have taken possession of the lord's land right when the lord tell you when the israelites return onto their land they shall not do war anymore yet these men them are at war once again right so then you have erdogan the, the man from turkey he, he must show thought some things too well, I'll make it load up. Let me translate this. Still a load. <clears throat> so we have Persia. We have Libya. And Turkey represent Togama, the North Quarters. Right? Erdogan. Net Netanyahu is over for us. They are encouraging Israel to kill more babies. So they must speak out against what the Amalekites are doing in the land of Israel. Because the, the, the Bible tells you that the Timonites, the least of the flock, the Amalekites, shall draw them out, shall draw out the whole world and activate this Armageddon. Right? And on top of this, three, three, about four days before the um, November 6th, which is 1335 day upon the Daniel court, since the, the, the March 21st, the March. The March 11, 2020, WHO declaration of the mark of the beast. It's been 1335 days come November 6. And three days before that, Putin signed the bill for rebuke his nuclear test ban treaty. So now, he, he has the legal authority for, for calling a nuclear strike with him Russian uh, military. Right? So these are the things we need to watch and pray. Uh, 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 and the scripture say, be not ignorant of anything in a small matter or a great matter. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us. And we are not ignorant of these things. You see, we, 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 are, we are watching and we are praying. We are, we are measured all the time diligently by the signs that we see. Man, them want this to be a vision that them have when we are talking about the Lord vision. And we are explaining the Lord vision, not your vision. Not the way you thought that things would take place. Right, Ezekiel 38 uh, 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 and 2. Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the land of Magog. So who possess the land of Magog will be called Gog. 
the chief prince of Meshach and Tuba, like up there in Georgia and Chechnya, and prophesy against them, right? So we look upon the map. The land of Magog is Russia. So that them are Gog, right? Meshach, Tubal, Chechnya, uh, Armenia, uh, 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 and what them place that? there, right? And we said Goma and Tagama, right? There, so it's Turkey, right? So, verse. Verse 5, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them. All of them with shield and helmet. Right, so we're going to see the Iranians from the side of Russia, the, the, the Ethiopians from the side of Russia, and the Libyans from the side of Russia, the Northwest Africans, the East Africans, and the Persians, the Iranians, all of them with shield and helmet. Goma and his bands, the Osatagama and, uh, of the North Quarters, and all of his bands, and many people with this. So we are going to see Turkey with them as well. And we see the map, right? Goma to Goma, right? That's for Turkey. We we see, we see, we see, we see foot, Libya, not not West Africa, Kush, uh, or Ethiopia, East Africa, they're on the side of Russia. Russia has a Red Sea base over there in Sudan. We have Ethiopians and Libyans and Iranians in Crimea fighting alongside the Russians in Ukraine right now too, right? Then we have the Arabs. Them are declare war upon Israel in a Yemen. The Houthis declare war upon Israel, but their real target is Israel. Brother, them, them real targets for burn out them Amalekites who claim to be the Israelites over there. So. Right, and this Lachan with the Arabs are do, Lachan with Ezekiel 38. Because cause in Ezekiel 38 tell you that Persia would be alongside with Gog and Magog, who is Russia. Right, and Persia has an alliance with the Arabians. And that come in our um, second Esdras 15 verse 29 where the nations of the dragons of Arabia like Yemen Saudi Arabia right Yemen shall come out with many chariots them, them a launch off their missiles upon the Israelis them and the Americans and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon the earth that all which hear them may fear and tremble because them a come with some more advanced technology than where, than, than where NATO and America have. Also the Carmanians raging in wrath shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood and with great power shall they come and join back with them and shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians that over there so in Israel. Golan Heights all in place there. Mount Hermon, Carmel. And the Carmanians are the Iranians. They look upon the map of Persia. Carmania is the region of the Horn of Amus which we see the, the, that region right there. So that, that's where the Persian man them are siege American Navy ships and American sailors. And the dragons of Arabia right next to them. Yemen, Oman, Qatar, UAE, Saudi Arabia, Jordan. The whole of them. Hamas, Hezbollah. And, and, and the people in the West are stupid because them think that these Arabians and, and, these, and these Iranians alongside with the russia are some backwater third world country poor people with no weapons when they have more advanced weapons than the americans and the europeans the western europeans joel 3 and 10 beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears let the weak say i am strong the lord say let the weak people the people that you think are weak countries make them man they say that them are strong because they are strong they have achieved the hypersonic missiles that can travel 10 times the speed of sound, that can travel 20, sound, 20 times the speed of sound. That Lloyd Austin said, I have no defense against speaking for America and NATO. But, but like over there, I say, talking about Esau, the Mount of Edom, from, from the, 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 the dragon with the seven heads being Western Europe. Spain, Italy, Greece, England, Portugal, right? Germany superior, Germany inferior, right? Belgium, them, them man there. You see me? To, to America, to Israel, the least of them. Right? There is none understanding. They that eat their bread have laid a wound under them. They, they, they might give these Saudi Arabians, these Yemenis, they might give these Iranians billions of foreign aid and, and peace deal money. And they might take the money and I make weapons to kill them. And I kill them right now. 
Joe Biden go up two weeks ago for talk to American people and he mentioned nothing about how many times the American troops are being attacked over there so in the Middle East right now. A man them want to say World War III is coming when them are killing Americans already. When y'all wait, it, it, so, so Americans being killed in the Middle East openly by these Arabs and Iranians and Russians is not enough for people to say it's World War III. They're waiting for the wicked government that don't care about them for come out and say we are at World War III for the people to say look we are at World War III I tell you I tell you that's what they're waiting for but then forget Psalms 94 and 20 shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee which frameth mischief by Allah so then people here America the United Nations the Hague of Adesso a branch of the United Nations, the International Court of Justice in, in Western Europe, all of them, them free mischief by laws, them put it in a writing. Right? And they write it in a certain type of way, like a serpent, wise. First Thessalonians 5 and 2, so that for that yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So the day of your hour basham, your shah will come like a thief in the night because them man, yeah, they have a slick tongue, they write things in a way where they are telling you what they are doing, but the way that they, the literature and, 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 and the, the, the um, what do you call it? The, 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 um, the literature with them, with them write, right? And, and the, 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 um, the interpretation is somewhere that begin with a P, right? Where if you use one word, it can mean this, but the connotation, the connotation, the, the, the literature that them use and the connotation of the words them have, it make you think them I say one thing when them I really I tell you this. Right? Because them just passed the OS resolution 559. Declaring it is the policy of the United States that the nuclear that a nuclear Islamic Republic of Iran shall never come into fruition. And them saying at the last part of this resolution that they will use any means necessary to stop Iran from achieving a nuclear weapon. That means that they can send troops to war and not tell you any means necessary. So the people that are telling you World War III is not here yet. It is coming because the government has not told us yet. The government has passed a law. They framed the mischief by a law telling you that they can go do any means necessary. They can get mercenaries. Them can get drone strike, them can do anything, them can do it in a secret, in a broad day, in a public, in a the discreet part of the town. Anyway, and not tell you. Because the Lord used man for fulfill, for fulfill him will. And the Lord said this I go pop off like a thief in the night. Yet them own tongue fall upon them. But we live in a great war of ignorance where people don't know these things. Right? Jeremiah 49 and 20. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord that he have spoken, that he have taken against Edom and his purpose that he have purpose against the inhabitants of Teman, that is a son of, of, of Amalek. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. So these, these Israeli men, them, these Idumean Amalekites over there, so in Israel, that have parted the Lord's land, they are drawing out the entire world after them. They are killing the Palestinian civilians upon the TV, openly and publicly. The Hamas that control Gaza are only in Gaza, yet the Israelis are bombing the West Bank that has no Gaza, that has no Hamas in the West Bank. The entire Muslim world of 2.2 billion people are watching this. And unlike when they shoot us down in the streets, we have no country and army for come and save us. These Muslims have jets, tanks, planes, hypersonic missiles, ballistic intercontinental missiles, and things that NATO and America cannot defend against. And they have Russia backing them, Gog and Magog. Jeremiah 50 and 45, Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord that he has taken against Babylon, because Edom is the daughter of Babylon. And his purpose that he have purpose against the land of the Chaldeans. That is, that is the crown of the Babylonians. Like Jerusalem is the crown of the Israelites. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. That's why the Arabs 
they have better weapons than the Israelis. But right now, they are depleting the Israelis' missile defense systems with regular cheap missiles so that they can fire off their main objective, their main advanced hypersonic Fatah missiles them with no, with, with, that's why Jeremiah said I go come out of the night. Uh, and it should be like the arrows of an expert ma marksman that shall not return in vain. Because the Israel Patriot Defense Iron Dome system is depleted and there will be no defense against these missiles that the dragons of Arabia, Gog and Magog, and, and, and the Persians shall fire upon them and upon Babylon America at the same time. Right? They're drawing them out. At least 9,000 Palestinians have been killed in the war. Mostly women and minors. And more than 32,000 people have been wounded. The Gaza Health Ministry said Thursday without providing the breakdown between civilians and fighters. I see how the thing just updated. Because this was not what was, this was not what was upon the page. This just updated in front of us. It told you, it tell you that 3,000 of this was civilians, women and children. But there's a famine of hearing the words of truth. And we just see it pop off. Here it is right here. According to the Hamas run Ministry of Health, 8.8 8 thousand Palestinians have been killed since September of October, including, including at least 3.6 3 thousand children and 2.1 thousand women. So they're hiding the information because there's a famine of hearing the word of the Lord. They just update this because this was the first thing that popped off. They update this to AP News from this one because they don't want you to see. But the entire Islamic world, the entire world of the Muslims are seeing this right now. And when you see your people being bombed and killed and you have the weapons and the means to stop them from being bombed and killed by using those types of weapons, what would you do if it was your people and you had your finger upon the trigger and the buttons for launch off these missiles? You are going to use them. Right? But people think that them Israeli man them are the real Jews when they are the Idumians. Ezekiel 36 and 5 tell you that the Idumians would take possession of the Lord's land in the last days. And people just act like them don't see that. Because this is not Armageddon right now. Armageddon comes after the nuclear missiles fly. Because Matthew 24 and 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. That is the sixth seal. When there is a great earthquake, and nuclear weapons, 200 millions of them, Launch off at the same time would make 200 million earthquakes, would put enough soot in the air according to the Pentagon to block out the sun and moon and cause a nuclear winter, like Joe Biden has been talking about, a dark winter. And this comes immediately after the tribulation. So the man them who want to talk about a pre tribulation rapture, them man they are dickheads. There's children dying right now, and them people are chat about pre tribulation rapture, them man they are idiots. Right, the sixth seal I go pop off. Man, them know when he opened the sixth seal, Revelation 6, verse 12. When he opened the sixth seal, I looked and behold, and, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sat cloth, and the full moon became like blood, and the stars of the sky fell to the earth. The sky vanished like a scroll that being rolled away and every mountain and island was removed from its place. And the man will make this picture. He said, I do believe that this is highly probably a nuclear holocaust. The sixth seal. Right, second Ezra 13 and 33. And when all the people hear his voice, every man shall in their own land Leave the buckle they have one against another. So when, when the Lord returns, people are already going to be fighting like they are doing right now. 
Because World War III is right now, it's not coming this year. World War I did not take place in America. World War II did not take place in America. Why the fuck people think World War III is going to take place right here in America? Because they have the American Babylonian eye syndrome where they only see things in America. If it's not in America, it never happened. And that's why America, which is Babylon, will be taken like a thief in the night because America is, is the heartland of the great war of ignorance. Joel 3 and 2, I will also gather all nations. I will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. I will plead with them there for my people and my heritage Israel whom they have scattered among the nations and part in my land. So if them people were the Israelites, why would the Lord be pleading for them if they are right in the land right now? Because I know that the Israelites are still scattered. We don't go back in our land yet. Them people are Idumians. And they part up the Lord land between them and the Arabs who claim to be Philistines. When or if, if you're Arab, how, how, Arabs come from Ishmael, who come from Abraham, who come from Shem. The Philistines are, 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 come from the Egyptians, who come from the Hamites. So how can you be an Arab and a Palestinian at the same time when they don't come from the same tribes? Because it's all a fucking lie. They're fighting over some type of mythical truth that, that either one of them type of people belonging to that land. When that is the land of the Israelites. Revelation 20 and 8. And shall go to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth. Gog and Magog together with. To, Gog and Magog to gather them together to the buckle. The number of whom is the sand of the sea. So Russia is leading this. That's why Russia come up with the bricks. That's why Russia is protecting the Arabians and the Iranians with their Su-35 Kenza hypersonic missile jets patrolling the Mediterranean and the Black Sea, protecting them. Car Russia, alongside with the Arabians and the Iranians, are going to nuke America and Israel. And when the Lord return, it's going to be them leading the battle against the Lord in Armageddon. Obadiah 1 and 21. And in the midst of the Lord drawing all of them people, to the land of Israel in, in Jerusalem, the valley of Jehoshaphat, he shall bring the 144,000 as well. And Savior shall come on the, upon the Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, Amalek, the Idumians, the so called white man. And the kingdom shall be the Lord's, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. We are going to take every blood clot thing from them. You see me? Man, them. I trade upon them people like some Uncle Rush Ruckus about foundational block and, and a, 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 a American dependent as for reparation. No, we are going to take every blood clot thing from them people. We're not going to ask them for anything. We are going to run up and take it. Right? So, World War III here, man. We see the headline, them. We see the setup. We know how I come. We know the Daniel count. We know the mark of the beast or the out here. We know there's a famine out here in the word of God. We just see it upon this video right now. Them update information so I have to go and find it. But them I talk about we do not know the, the division between how much civilian Palestinians dead from children and adults and man. When the information upon the, the web, there's a famine. There's a mark of the beast. There's a war. There's tribulation. There's earthquakes. People are going to jail for talking about you cannot be LGBTQ and, and preach the Bible at the same time. It's happening. The six seal soon busts up on everybody. Right? Uh, and we know so we dip on the narrow path. So we say things that the majority of the people will never agree to come and walk with us. And that is a sign that we dip on the right path because who, who listened to Noah? Who listen to everybody want to talk about yeah they like it the day I know her. But but them people are the same people because there's nothing new under the sun. And in the day as in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. So people are not the majority of people are, are just walking dead. Walking dead. So yeah, shalom, peace and blessings.